Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a tour of our new block of land and we'll stop by and check out all the cool things we'll find along the way. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Alrighty, so we've arrived at our first landmark, this uh, old dank bus. So let's go check it out. What do you reckon, Villa? Let's go check out the bus. Let's go. So of course when we first got here this bus was hardly visible it was fully covered in bushes and lantana and grass and now we've got a bit of better of a visual of it while we're here let's take a trip back in time to see what the bus used to look like when we first arrived okay so this is our overgrown school bus And if you'd like to see how all this was cleared with the help of an excavator, along with our driveways, you can click on the link that should be on the screen now that will take you to that video. And the super interesting thing is that the bus was actually connected to the Telstra network. <laughs> Back in the days when Telstra used to supply everybody with a free connection on their land. So it looks like this bus had uh, the phone service within it. So let's go on and check it out inside. I can go in first, in case it's a bit scary. I'll let you do the honors. Be the camera woman. Oh yeah. Wow, everyone's coming in. Oh gosh, this is it. There's not any more than meets the eye. Just a bunch of old moldy construction materials here. A workbench that's kind of caved in. Probably six sound system off the back. <laughs> Still gas in the tank. Still gas in the tank. Crazy. Big old wasp here. Let's get out before the bloody gas tank blows up or get bitten by a wasp. Yep. 
Come on, puppies. Let's get away from the wasp. What do you think, Rufus? Hey, buddy. So this will basically be our view pretty much everywhere we go. Bush, some more bush, and more bush. All right, let's continue. We've arrived at a really old refrigerator. Hopefully we don't find any dead bodies inside. Hoo hoo, yummy. Big blowfly there. Well, no, nothing interesting here. We've arrived at an old shipping container. Let's check out what we find inside. Too much in here. Oh, there's a mouse uh, at the very back. Ho ho! Or a rat, I don't know. Can you see it looking at us? Honey, can you see it looking? Its little nose peeking through the edge of that. I can't. Can you see it moving now? Oh, uh, I did. I think it's gone now. Oh, I can still see its little legs. Behind a wood board for me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get it, Rufus. I'm kidding. <laughs> I actually found something useful in this fire extinguisher that this little pen. Oh yeah. The little key ring's gone bad on our one, so that might be good. Very cool. We may as well show them the message that we we arrived to on the side of this. Oh yeah. Very friendly. Okay. So it says, enter and die. Clearly we didn't die, but <laughs> scary stuff. We'll have to check on Rufus, we might have some bad voodoo on him now. <laughs> so now we've got this old van check out how the moss has colonized on it. I don't know how many years this has been here, but that's pretty impressive. Whee. Not too much in here either. There's like some bricks. everything taken out. Uh, 
And now we're at the front of the first of two cabins that we've got here. So let's go ahead and check it out. We were thinking to maybe keep this cabin, but looking at the foundations underneath, it looks like it might be a little bit tricky to restore it, but we'll see how we go. Hello. Let's go ahead and check it out inside. Do you want to come up? Uh, maybe I'll stay and watch the dots. Yeah, sure. Alright. Inside the cabin we are. The sombrero looks like it's still in good nick. Some nice mattresses here. Everyone decided that they wanted to come join. Oh yeah. Has a nice pea stench to it. <laughs> Kidding about the nice. Probably from mice. That's what I was thinking. The more I visit this place, the more I like it. it seems like it wasn't built too bad. Got a nice water tank. And these are the steps that we kind of use to get up here. Just old rotted out bits of wood. Here's some of the rubbish we found around the place. And so this looks like the only part that was actually damaged by the fires that went through here a couple of years back. So this is the cabin from the back and we're back at the van. So let's continue the journey. And so this bit doesn't really go anywhere, but it's a notable feature because it's really cool. Um, we've got like a, a gully in the middle of our block that's just like five meters deep or something. So when it rains really heavy, the whole thing might be full of water. Oh, it looks like we got some. Gee, they got down fast. Yeah. Dog number one. Dog number two. Number three. Check, check, check. This gully points to 
kind of where we came from and goes to the middle of the block. And this one goes oh. towards the back of the block. What a swimmer. Yeah. Yuck. Okie doke. Let's continue back. And so this brings us to the end of the tour of the first half of our property. If you'd like to see the second half and what we found along the way, Feel free to click the link that should be on the screen now to take you to part two of our property tour. And as always, thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe to our channel to follow our journey as we share how we set up our off-grid caravan and also how we build our fully off-grid oasis here in the Northern Rivers region of Australia.